It's time for the Nate Hawkins Show. Learn all about Heritage Hills basketball straight from the coach. The Nate Hawkins Show, exclusively on the Southwestern Indiana Sports Network. about playing basketball for my high school. I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Hello and welcome to the Day Hawkins Show. Coach, last night you played Southwest in the opening round of sectional. You came out a 42-37 to 37 winner. Why don't you recap that game for us? Yeah, uh, well, thanks again, Joe, for having me on. Um, you know, uh, uh, always nice uh, and, and a great feeling to be able to talk to you after uh, after a sectional win, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, Southridge game um, last night, um, uh, two uh, two really good basketball teams just really going at it. Uh, I mean, it was a hard fought um, nail biter, you know, as as a lot of our games have been this year. Um, you know, I thought that uh, I thought our kids came out were were really really focused and really good early on in the game, and uh, we were able to build an eight point lead at halftime, which is uh, kind of flipped the script from our first game when we played them. That we were down eight going into the um, the halftime break, but uh, uh, came out, um, you know, we knew kind of the way that, uh, Southridge had been doing things. They've, they'd kind of been slowing it down and a little bit and, and run their stuff. We tried to get them sped up and, and, uh, kind of play the way that we were, but, uh, to their credit, they were very disciplined and, um, and they don't turn the basketball over. Their guards are pretty good. Um, but, um, uh, uh, we were able to get that lead, and then um, you know, and then I thought we come out there in that third quarter and uh, and and really did some good things. And uh, it was kind of a back and forth quarter, but we end up going into the fourth quarter break there, up nine, um, made some shots. Um, you know, I, I just thought um, um, it, it was overall a, a pretty good setup for us. And then we went in there to the fourth quarter, and um, um, we uh, kind of. Kind of relaxed a little bit on the defensive end. I thought I thought we lost their shooters a couple times. They they made a run, um, got it down to about um, where, where it was forty to thirty seven there, um, and that's pretty well the way it was for the last three minutes of the game. I mean, I thought both teams were really locked in defensively, um, and um, you know, and we were able to make some plays there at the end. And um, you know, we got the basketball at the very end there to where we wanted to get it to. And Trent really came to get it. And got fouled, and then uh, he sealed the game with two free throws, and that's where we end up getting that forty-two to thirty-seven win. But, but I, I was really proud um, of the uh, the grit and the toughness that this young group showed last night. Um, you know, it's something that we've been working on all season long, and and have been hoping for, and uh, and and it really showed there last night, and and the way that they were able to really buckle down um when when we weren't as good and, and we had had some some costly turnovers there late in the game to be able to to go down and fight and uh and defend and rebound um without fouling i, I thought was really really big and um you know and and, and the other thing that too I, I just thought um, the way that that south south ridge defended us they 
they really brought a couple guys at Trent and, um, you know, did a lot of different things, boxing one, diamond one, all, all those, uh, all those things to try to take him out of it. And, uh, I thought Trent did a really good job. It showed his extreme leadership last night of, uh, you know, he really didn't force anything. Um, yeah, he took what the defense gave him. He found his teammates. He trusts his teammates and, uh, and they came through for him. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, Hunter Meredith made some shots. Marcus uh, hit a shot, made a good cut to the basket. Uh, Charlie did some really good things. I mean, um, you know, it was uh, really good. And uh, and Colton Hope kind of picked his spots and uh, and got some things um, off of Trent as well because a lot of times his guy was the uh, the other guy that was coming at him. But um, um, you know, I thought he was really good. I mean, another double double for Trent um, was really good on the glass again last night and. Um, you know, overall, a uh, great win for our for, for our basketball team, and and uh, you know I couldn't say it any better than I'm just so proud for this of this group uh, for being able to gut that one out last night. And uh, you know, I told them, I said, uh, you know, before we started, and um, and when it's over, it, it's all about survive and advance at at this time of the year. And uh, you know, here we are into March now, and uh, we're still playing basketball, so we're excited about that. And you know. Uh, you got to be happy too, not not happy that that Sicily only had ten points, but that uh, you were able to win with him just scoring ten points. Oh, absolutely, yeah, and, and you know, and that that just shows the growth um, that our basketball team has made because um, you know Trent's going to go score. I mean, there, there's no question about that. But like I said, you know, last night, um, you know, I mean, uh, he took what they gave him. I mean, he he was he was really really good. Uh, you know, I mean, I I could care if he scores ten points or or thirty points. Um, you know, it's all about making our team better, and uh, and that's what he did last night. I mean, he 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 was able to find the guys, and um, you know, and and he was really good defensively last night. You know, probably one of his better defensive games. Um, you know, he had to guard out on the perimeter. He had to guard inside. I mean, they, you know, there he was getting put in a lot of ball screen situations, and uh, you know, I just I was really proud of him. And, uh, you know, I just told him, I grabbed him right before we left, and I, I said, Trent, I just want to tell you that uh, the, the leadership that you showed tonight uh, is something, um, you know, that can't go, go unnoticed. And, uh, you know, and that's what winners do, and uh, there's no question. He, he's a winner, uh, just like all of our team are. And, you know, you, you said survive and, and advance, and, uh, I, and that was great. And I know that that's, two, that's one thing that, uh, that two conference champions – Champions, the PAC champion South Spencer, and the SAC champions Harrison wish that they did. Well, it, you know, and when it gets to this time of the year, uh, I mean, it is really, really tough. It's hard to win. It's tough. I mean, just everybody knows everything about each other. Um, I mean, and and one play or the ball bouncing this way or that way, it all comes into play and. Uh, I tell you that um, you know uh, uh, we're just happy to be we're happy to be going back to practice today and uh, and getting better and, uh, and and we're moving on. I mean we're moving on and uh, and now we're going to get prepared and uh, get ready to go against uh, a good Washington team on their home floor on Friday night, which uh, um, I know our kids are really excited about. Uh, let me ask you a question. You know with with North Pole and South Spencer playing first game, two of the the favorites in that sectional. Um, how do you feel about about seeding these sectionals? You know, um, I it doesn't bother me. You know, really. I mean, I, I guess I've grown up, Joe. You know, in the old blind draw with things. I played through it. I've coached through it. Um, you know, it, it brings a little bit of excitement in the air. You know, as uh, everybody, obviously in high school, everybody makes the tournament. Um, so to just kind of see what your path is going to be. Um, I know that. Um, um, you know that a team that has a, a really good regular season, they they probably would like that, but uh, that that's just not the way that our format is set up, and uh, um, it, it's just part of it. And and at the end of the day, uh, the goal is is that you got to beat everybody anyway, right? So whether you play them in the first round or you play them in the championship game, you got to beat them. Um, so uh, you know, I really don't have a real strong opinion either way on that. And you're listening to the Nate Hawkins Show on the South Wednesday and Sports Network, powered by Million Dollars of Communication. We'll be back right with these messages for our sponsors. You dream it, we create it at Street Dreams. Custom paint, fabrication, 
stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams, 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and... At MAD, we believe in zero. Zero fathers who aren't there for bedtime. Zero mothers who miss the first day of school. Zero children who never come home. We believe in zero victims of drunk driving. With MAD, your support adds up to zero. Because we believe in a hug on the first day of school. We believe in another bedtime story. We believe in no more victims. We believe in zero. Wanting to scan those old videos, films, or audio to DVD? We'll look no further than Milligan Communications. We can also scan your old pictures, slides, and negatives to picture quality as well. With thousands of happy customers, let Milligan Communications help put your treasured memories on a digital media. Call Milligan Communications today at 812-630-2449. Milligan Communications, capturing your yesterday. Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. And welcome back to the Nate Alton Show, and we're joined by Pete Lashley, big time contributor to the Hired Show Patriots. Pete, how you doing today? I'm doing great, Joe. Thanks for having us. You know, Pete, I know you've wore many hats with Heritage Hills. Uh, why don't you kind of go over what you've done for the, for the Patriots? Um, well, I've coached basketball and been around the basketball program probably for close to 20 years. Uh, I uh, started as a seventh grade coach uh, for five years and uh, then uh, was uh, a varsity assistant to Coach Echo Barger and Coach Sisley. Uh, and then uh, I went down and helped uh, run our youth program from grades two to uh, six, and reorganized that. And uh, through all that time, I've I've, I've basically been uh, you know an in-game uh, stat statistician type guy, uh, just going you know doing keeping track of all that stuff for both the JV and the varsity teams, and uh, you know. Try to help the try to help the guys uh, in any way I, as, that I can. Uh, you know, players individually, more of just of uh, you know, try to keep them positive and and motivated and 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 uh, you know, enjoying the game because uh, I've always said that uh, if you're playing with you know uh, passion and, and joy for the game, then that's how you can achieve you know your best the best out of yourself. And you know, um, you know, you've got uh, a, a, a son that's a coach right now, and also a son on the team. Um, and you, so you've been a parent, and uh, and you've been involved with the program. Um, how is it to balance being a parent to being involved in the program? Um, you know, I've had I had some great teachers uh, along the way to help me. Uh, you know, and and role models uh, all the way back to my playing days. Uh, you know, I played. I played for my my uncles uh, at St. Bernard, and then uh, I got to play for and coach with uh, Coach Roger Guth uh, at South Spencer, and uh, I got to uh, uh, be around uh, when I came to Heritage Chills, I got to in, in the track program. I got to be around uh, Coach Bob Compton, and and so I had all of all of those all of those uh, people, uh, you know, were coaches that coached their own kids. And, uh, so I got, uh, I got those examples, uh, to, to lean on and watch. And then, you know, just a few other people in my life, uh, uh, my boss, Reich Winchell, uh, you know, he had some very talented kids, uh, you know, Jay go through Heritage Hills and, uh, you know, just through discussions, 
you know, with him, uh, you know, and so I, I, I leaned on those people. I've, I've used that advice. And, uh, I basically, you know, told my kids, you know, that when I'm coaching them, I, you know, I'm their coach. And, uh, when I'm, when I'm their father, then, then, then I'm their father. I really try to, you know, keep the lines separate and, uh, it keeps my wife, uh, happy to, uh, as you know, that I can, I can try to separate the two because you don't, you don't want to drag that stuff, uh, you know, at the supper table all all night long. And you know, it is a good thing that you that you do that because I think I remember when I was it was like third or fourth grade soccer with recent race, and uh, and we got in the car one day and they 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 said you're fired, Dad, you're fired. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, I you know you just learn you learn stuff. I I've, I've always tried to, uh, you know, when they were younger like that, I had a to the car rule, and so. Uh, you know, when we were playing at home or playing on the road, but as soon as, you know, if we got to the car, then, uh, you know, the only time we would discuss the game or whatever is if, you know, if it was driven by, you know, my kids. So, uh, when we got in the car, you know, that was, that was the end of it. And so, uh, Grant was, uh, Grant was really good at it. If, if, if he didn't, if he didn't think he played very well or he didn't want to talk to it, I mean, he was, he he made it made sure we got to the car really quickly uh, after, after the game, and so that that would be the end of it. But uh, you know the relationship with with uh, both of my boys and and Reagan, uh, she's she's coaching uh, you know at South Spencer. Uh, she started her career down there uh, down there, and, and uh, Carter. Uh, the relationship is I feel like it's been re- really really good and a positive one, and uh, uh, it's it's been exciting. And I know you mentioned the name Jade Winslow. And, you know, we interviewed Jade Winslow earlier, and, and he actually told me that he thinks his kids are faster than he will, he will be faster than he was. And I thought that's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm excited uh, as the track coach uh, to get uh, his boys. Uh, the oldest one, Tice, is an eighth grader uh, this year. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see you know them on on the track, and uh, that was. But uh, they're 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 exciting to watch on the basketball court as well. And well, you know, and you know, the Patriots uh, won the other night over Southridge, and uh, then they'll be taking on Washington on Friday night. Um, what do you think about the Patriots at this, this point in the season? Well, this point in the season, you know, it's it, I, the great part about uh, high school basketball is is you know everything that you do uh, leading in the regular season. There's you know there's opportunities. Uh, to have excitement with conference championships and tourney championships and things like that. But it's really, you know, preparing you for, uh, you know, the sectional. And so, um, you know, you want to be playing, you want to be hitting your stride. You want to be, you know, playing uh, your best basketball as you enter the sectional. And I, I think, uh, I think we're right on the, we're right on the cusp of that. Uh, I think we have an opportunity here uh, to be, you know, to grow in consistency, but, uh, uh, we play a lot of young guys and, uh, got just enough of, you know, veteran leadership, uh, to help, you know, help show the way for them. And, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for, t- for tomorrow night. Going to be a tough task, uh, uh, you know, playing Washington at home. Well, Pete, uh, keep being a positive influence for the Patriots and good luck in the section. Joe, thanks. Uh, appreciate all you do for all of our, uh, coaches and and the information that you guys uh get out in the communities and uh it's really fun to listen to the show and you'll be listening to the nate Hawkins show on south of the sports network how about knowing both communications we'll be right back right after some messages from our sponsors This is your state. This is your high school. 
This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSA. Wanting to scan those old videos, films, or audio to DVD? We'll look no further than Milligan Communications. We can also scan your old pictures, slides, and negatives to picture quality as well. With thousands of happy customers, let Milligan Communications help put your treasured memories on a digital media. Call Milligan Communications today at 812-630-2449. Milligan Communications, capturing your yesterdays. At MAD, we believe in zero. Zero fathers who aren't there for bedtime. Zero mothers who miss the first day of school. Zero children who never come home. We believe in zero victims of drunk driving. With MAD, your support adds up to zero. Because we believe in a hug on the first day of school. We believe in another bedtime story. We believe in no more victims. We believe in zero. Hey everyone, Joey Chestnut here, world champion competitive eater. I follow Southwest Indiana Sports Network, and if you're hungry for sports, you should follow them too. Follow the Southwest Indiana Sports Network at SWISportsNetwork.com or search Roku for our channel at SW Indiana Sports Network. It looks like the Nate Hubbard Show. Coach, you know, you're going to be playing Friday night. You're going to be playing the Washington Hatchets. Um, what time is that game, first of all? Let me say, ask you that. We, we are, uh, it's a 5.30 Central start. Um, we, we've got the first game, um, and, um, you know, we, we need all of our Patriot fans in the stands. There's no question about that, you know, because you know Washington's going to bring them um, as well. So, um, you know, we need uh, we need a good crowd over there and, um, you know, and, and, and just make for a great environment and, you know, it should be a great, great exciting game. And why don't you preview that game for us? Yeah, uh, well, Washington, um, you know, very, very good basketball team. I mean, just like all the teams that are in our sectional, uh, this sectional has been so balanced this year with, with so many good teams. But, uh, um, you know, I think they, they, they start with Bryce United. I mean, uh, you know, very good basketball player, can really shoot the basketball. Uh, we, we played them at our place back on, um, I believe it was uh, February the 14th. It was actually a makeup game. But uh, so so we're pretty familiar with them and, and having played them not that long ago, um, in, in a game that we had a lot of success in. Um, you know our kids uh, our kids made shots. Um, he always very good defensively. We held them to forty five points, um, and I think we're going to have to repeat that. I mean uh, we're going to have to uh, do a really good job on on their shooters. It's a team that uh, doesn't have a tremendous amount of size. But uh, but but really good guards and, and guards that can shoot the basketball. So um, when they hit shots, they look really really good. Um, and, and we're going to have to try to make sure we try to limit that kind of like what we did um, in that first meeting that we had against them. So you know it, it should be a, a really exciting game. Um, you know and and uh, like like I said, I mean it's all about um, you know one game at a time and 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 trying to move on. So uh, you know. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be about, uh, you know, we're going to have to just be really good um, for the rest of the season if we want to continue to play. So um should be a good one, and, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to it, Joe. You know, going into the semifinals of sectional, what's the health of your team right now? Well, I, I tell you, Joe, I think we're doing pretty well. Um, you know, <laughs> Trent kind of got popped there at the end of the, end of the game there in the eye a little bit, but, uh, but he assured me, he said, uh, Coach, I'll be okay. So, uh, but, uh, but, you know, uh, uh, you know, we've been very fortunate on that, on that side of things and everybody is doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, we hopefully, uh, hopefully we do, we continue to stay healthy, um, because we need all of our parts. I mean, we, we need everybody playing well, all of our guys, you know, off the bench have to stay ready, um, because we need them at, at, at the times that when they're called upon and, and um but uh but as far as um you know everybody uh little nicks and knacks and all that stuff that happens over the course of the season yeah sure we do have some of that but uh but i i feel really good about where we're at uh, from a health standpoint right now and um you know and hopefully we can uh continue to play uh, uh that way um for the rest of the season 
Well, Coach, good luck the rest of the way in sectional. Well, I appreciate that, Joe. And uh, as always, you know, thanks for having me on. And uh, look forward to talking to you again next week. And you've been listening to the Alcon Show on the Southwest Union Sports Network, powered by Logan Brooks for Communication. We'll see you next week. licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. You dream it, we create it at Street Dreams. Custom paint, fabrication, stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams, 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and 